What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we received update 1.22. I will link these patch notes down in the description as always. You guys can read over them for yourself. I'm going to kind of go over the high points of the patch notes. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, file size, this was a pretty big update. 32 gigs on PS4, 44 gigs on Xbox, 45 gigs on PC for people that own the entire game, and 39 gigs on PC for the free-to-play version on uh, of Warzone. Uh, now, on Xbox and PS4, they did state this should only add an additional 4 gigs of space onto your uh, console itself after this download is done. They're trying to be able to reduce game size, and they're trying kind of this way of this, you know, it's going to be a larger file download, but smaller once it is complete. So they said they're going to continue to find ways to redu uh, reduce the size of these files on console. Now, when it comes to changes... For Warzone, uh, there's been a lot of different stuff added into the game. The one thing that added in were match events. Jailbreak can occur. This is an event that will allow players that have been eliminated to be released back into the match, whether they're spectating or waiting for their 1v1 in the Gulag. Uh, another thing called Fire Sale is an event that can happen in-game. This will reduce items temporarily at the buy station up to 80%. Another event called Supply Choppers, which brings in a non-lethal, heavily armored chopper, you can take this down. It says it'll take a lot of bullets, maybe even a rocket. But once you have taken this down, your team has taken this down, or anybody has taken this down in the match, it can drop UAVs, armor boxes, munition boxes, gas masks, grenade launchers, and tons of cash at a minimum. It says be sure to take these choppers down, but also sure be sure to be aware that other teams may be doing the same thing. And you can take advantage of them while they are shooting the choppers down, not really paying attention to you know who could be around them. Next thing that they did add in was some new playlists to uh, the multiplayer modes. Of course, Trench Mosh Pit 2v2, Scrapyard 24-7, and Blueprint Gunfight. Also, one more thing they added in for Warzone was the Contraband Contract System. This is a new permanent Blueprint reward. Contraband contracts have a chance to spawn after a previous contract is completed. If you see a Contraband Briefcase, hurry up and collect it. Now, for Warzone modes, we still have quads, trios, duos, solos, blood money, and a new mode called Warzone Rumble. This is two teams of 50 drop in and pretty much just duke it out to see which team can win. This is high action with custom loadouts, vehicles, and quick spawns. This is pretty much the same thing if you ever played Fortnite. They have a 50v50 mode as well. A lot of people enjoy that. They don't like just playing, you know, just straight up Battle Royale. They may want to hop in and play with larger teams. So this is a new mode, like I said, called Warzone Rumble. Um, now, some other changes that came with this update were a lot of general fixes. Fixes for players not receiving their Season 3 emblem. The error code 13-71 uh, has been fixed. A fix for where the ghost perk was not hiding players from the heartbeat sensor. That should be working correctly now. Uh, some issues where the Talon uh, operator missions was not working correctly. That should be fixed as well. Uh, a fix for the officer challenge to get 20 kills while uh, crouched was not tracking correctly. Also fixed a bug where players' health regen was triggered on downing other players, even if Quick Fix was not equipped. Some fixes uh, for people kind of exploiting the ability to call in UAVs, and they were duplicating these UAVs. Also, players duplicating medkit. Uh, that has been an issue. So the medkit duplication and the UAV duplication should be fixed as well. Uh, a fix for the call uh, for the calls grip tape not appearing properly on the base M4. Improved stability fixes for PC and fixes to help prevent issues with voice chat overall. Uh, besides that, guys, there are a few changes to weapons. Nothing like nerfs or buffs. Lower the ammo count for reload warning of the belt-fed LMG and fixed an issue where the HDMR was bugging out with sleight of hand. They updated the loot in Warzone to put the CR-56, Renetti, and more in. Fixed a bug where the recon co contract could spawn inside an ammo supply cache. After completing a contraband mission, uh, mission and calling in the extraction chopper, players could shoot the helicopter without receiving hit markers. Fixed a bu bug where players were able to drop their weapon in the gulag. Uh, those are just some changes that were brought just specifically to Warzone. And besides that, everything else was for spe spec ops and spec ops for survival. So like I said, guys, if you would like to read over some of the stuff, it will be linked down in the description below. Leave me a comment. Were you excited about this update and the start of Season 4? And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. 
All their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.